now let's take a new case where we have four factors uh, a b c d uh, where a and b are at two levels and c and d they have three levels and in this case we will study only the main effects of all the factors as there is no interaction in such a case we need not use dummy level technique alternatively we can adopt the combination design technique or it's also called compounding factors technique so if we do not use a dummy level to convert a two level factor to three level then how do we manage the conversion so in this technique what we do is we combine the two level factors that is a and b to form a new factor which will have three levels let's look at this table now here we have factor a and b with two levels factor a has got a1 and a2 as its two levels b is represented by b1 and b2 now what we do is we combine a and b to form a new factor by multiplying their levels so for the new factor the first level comes by multiplying a1 with b1 the second level comes from a to b1 and the third level comes from a1 b2 the initial steps remain the same we start with uh, determining the degrees of freedom which would be 6 in this case uh, then we determine the number of experimental runs which would be 6 plus 1 that is 7 and again following the 3n series in this case l9 would be the nearest orthogonal array because in this case we need not study any interaction the required linear graph is simple in this case with four nodes representing the factors a b c and d the standard linear graph for l9 looks like this modification of the standard linear graph to uh, match the required linear graph would be done like this what we have to do is uh, we have to move the column levels representing the interaction between uh, first and the second factor to the node position because in this case we are not interested to study the uh, interaction now coming to the factor allocation uh, here the first factor is now a new factor which is the combination of the factors a and b so this new factor is assigned to column 1 followed by the factor c going to column 2 and factor d to column 3 the standard l9 orthogonal layout is like this since we allotted the new factor which is the combination of factor a and b to column 1 and column 2 uh, gets the factor c and d goes to column 3 we choose the first second and third columns from the default array in this case also we need to remember that since we have combined the factor levels the design will not be balanced anymore but will stay orthogonal 